Pretty kitty. I was thinking so much about pretty kitty. What's up, pretty kitty? What's up? I'm trying out this Publix Deli. Is it good? Mm-hmm. You said it was like Earl of Sandwich? When I first bought into it, that's what I thought of. And a, a bottle of milk. I just finished, oh, my nose itches, sorry. I just finished at Publix. And since going on my new, um, like eating healthier and making my own lunches and stuff like that, we typically spend, I would say, it's it's at least 90, if not more, dollars a week on groceries. But now we've spent, it, it would have been like close to 80, like including his and my groceries. Um, so I mean, that, that's not much more, but like, <laughs> the bag is making noise on the uh, steering wheel. But it was funny, because when, like Jared and I like have a certain system of how we put the things on the belt, um, cause like we keep all the frozen stuff together, you know, all the breads and the lighter stuff together, all the heavy stuff together, things that aren't groceries we put together, stuff like that. Um, just so that way it's a lot easier when it comes to putting things away. And so, and typically whenever we let them bag it for us, it, it just gets all jumbled up and mixed up and sometimes things get squished. And so <laughs> Jared typically is there to help, but he ran to go get like jelly or something. And I was, so I was putting the things on my belt by myself and she was going really fast, which is great. She was like doing her job very well. And then the baggage girl comes over and she goes, hi, can I help you put things, can I help you put things on there? And I was like, no, it's okay. <laughs> like I snapped at her. Because more often than not, like whenever they come to just, they just put things on the belt just to get them on the belt so we can check out quicker. And then things get all mixed up together and it's either again harder to put them away or like things get squished and I it, it literally irks me I remember the like, one time they jumped in and just started like throwing things on the belt I was like <laughs> I literally looked at Jared and I was just like mm, it's not organized <laughs> call me OCD but like in the end when it helps to put things away it makes our job e easier and like I would only I would rather and like, it's not like there was a line or anything, and I know they're just trying to get through things, but like, even when I'm like bagging things, like at Disney and stuff, I used to try to like, put like, the, the, you know, shirt, the clothes together, or like all of the little things together, and making it easier for them. I'm gonna go home and make myself probably a ham, spinach, avocado wrap. Maybe even make it a wheat wrap, because I haven't used any of my wheat wraps yet. Anyway, that's what we're doing right now. So I'm gonna try and remember to put it in the description. Um, if I do not, please remind me. But there is a video that I just watched. This avocado is so not ripe at all. I should not break it open. Mm, but I need avocado. Mm. <laughs> but like, it is a video that was most likely filmed for um, The Great Movie Ride has been hosting, um, more or less, it's kind of like a is so not ripe. Um, like an award ceremony um, that has like skits and stuff like that. Like we call it the Oscars. This person made a video based on, um, it's very much like Night at the Museum and kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's at the same time. Um, but like it's about how like the animatronics come to life at night. Um, and it's, it's really cool. It, they filmed it like it's an action, um, but I didn't really see any danger or anything other than like the movies come to life and you get trapped in a show scene or like, the doors close <laughs> which is really funny it's done by attractions magazine so if you can if go check it out because it's it's really funny maybe you guys can help us with this so i'm not going to open this up because it looks nasty and we need a new air filter and that's a whole other issue but the big pipe is got literally like it has is dripping water down and then it's catching it and then it's leaking you can see where it's wet leaking here and it's filling this up right here this is where the most of the leakage is but like i turned it on and then like 
20 minutes later, this entire area here was soaking wet, had like one huge puddle. <sighs> Gigi, what are we gonna do? Whatever are we gonna do? Huh? I've got candles lit every, we had a very like random day. It was like rainy and then super sunny and then rainy and then super sunny. But I took the time, I, I just haven't been in the mood to design. Like designing when it comes to me is like going to the gym. I just have to get my butt sat down and actually sit and do it. And then once I start designing or once I start working out, like I'm like on a roll. Like it's really hard to get me to stop. And so I just finished designing our labels, which I have a funny story about the address labels. Um, I don't want to like show you guys what the actual our address is because it you know, I don't want people to know our address. But like you can kind of see e. I have a cute little, um, and it says Danny and Jared, and then I have their address below. And, like, this is the first, like, thing of ours that we've made, or that I've made for us. Why did this stop? I just really, oh, I know why it stopped. It stopped because my computer stopped. That's frustrating. Now I have to print it again. So anyway, so, funny story. So, when I bought these labels, I was the same day, around the same hour, same time that I bought the envelopes, is when I bought the um, stamps and various other things. Um, for whatever reason, this is having major issues connecting. Um, and <laughs> so I was counting, okay, we are having like about 100 people come to the wedding. And so I need probably less than that invitations because that's like individual people. So there are 30 labels on this sh on each sheet. So I was like, okay, I need, we'll say roughly three three of them. And each packet comes in t with 10 sheets. So there's 300 in each packet. I ordered three packets, thinking I needed three sheets. So now I have like close to a thousand labels. <laughs> And I funny thing is I didn't even realize this until I went to print and I was like, okay, there's 30 labels. I need three sheets. I have a million sheets. <laughs> it was so funny. Anyway, I gotta go make the bed because Jared and I actually wash the sheets. That's our flannel, flannel? Flannel sheet that like never moves.